Today's story is The Ugly Duckling. Stanley the Stick Insect lounges in the sun as Maya reads him a story. His eyes blink open and closed as he hides a small yawn. So the ugly duckling was sent away because she didn't look like her brothers and sisters. Where did she belong? When would she grow up and look like a real duck? Wow, Maya, yawned Stanley as his eyes slowly close. If only we could help the ugly duckling. Under the warmth of the sun, Stanley drifts off. <coughs> Stanley rubs his eyes. Maya, what was that noise? I was just taking a quick nap. Maya giggles. I think it's a flock of ducks. Shall we go to the creek and have a look? As Maya and Stanley approach the creek, they spot a huge family of ducks. On the banks of the creek, there are lots of ducks sitting on their eggs and keeping them warm. Nearby, a group of newly hatched ducklings waddle around. It seems like they only left their eggs yesterday. They wibble and wobble all over the place. Stanley points at two ducks fighting in the creek. They flap their wings in wild ways, splashing water everywhere. Those ducks were the ones making noise. That's my daddy, quacks a little duckling, waddling up to Maya and Stanley. When I grow up, I'll look just like him. My mummy is over there looking after my brothers and sisters. He points to a group of ducklings. We only hatched out of our eggs a few days ago. Since then, it's been so much fun. He walks past them straight into the creek. You should come swim with us. Maya follows the duckling and wanders towards the water. But then she notices another duckling hiding behind the reeds. Hello there, calls Maya. Are you playing a game of hide and seek? Do you need some help? No, honks the duckling. I'm too ugly to come out. I've been ugly ever since I hatched out of my egg. I just want to grow up and look like the other ducks. I'm sure you're not ugly at all, replies Maya in a kind voice. The duckling peeks out from behind the reeds, hanging her head. She doesn't look like any of the other ducklings. She is bigger and covered in soft grey feathers. Her little black beak opens as she sighs. Maya, whispers Stanley. She looks like the ugly duckling. Shh, hushes Maya. Don't say that. You might upset her. Maya bends down to greet the duckling with a smile. They do call me the ugly duckling, she sighs. She starts singing along to a sad tune. I'm just an ugly duckling with feathers soft and grey. I quack and I swim, but I can't join in. Cause I'm too ugly to play. That's what they all say. That's not true, comforts Maya. You look exactly how you're supposed to look. You're not ugly. You're not really a duckling. What do you mean? interrupts Stanley. Isn't that what the whole story is about? The ugly duckling says nothing. She can hardly believe what she's hearing. You're not a duckling, Maya explains. You're a cygnet, a baby swan. Cygnets have fluffy grey feathers and black beaks, just like you. Come on, come with me to another part of the creek and I'll show you. They rush to a different part of the creek, far away from the ducks. They hear, 
as they approach a flock of graceful white swans. Some glide peacefully through the water. Others rest on the banks, sitting on a nest of eggs. In the middle of the creek, little cygnets float in the water or stay on their mother's backs. They're covered in downy grey feathers. The ugly duckling peers into the water at her reflection. Then she looks closely at the cygnets. Maya, do you really think I'm a cygnet, not a duckling? Of course, grins Maya. I can tell just by looking at you. But will I really look like that when I grow up? She stares at her black beak and grey feathers, wondering if she could ever look so beautiful. The swan's white feathers sparkle in the sun and their orange beaks look much nicer than her black one. It's only a matter of time, replies Maya. Your feathers and your beak will change as you grow bigger. You'll still look a little bit like you do now, but your neck will grow longer and your feathers whiter. Maya sings sweetly. You're not an ugly duckling with feathers soft and grey. You honk and you swim and you can go join in. Cause you'll look like them one day, so go out and play. The little cygnet is delighted to know that she'll grow into a lovely swan one day. She gives Maya and Stanley one last wave and swims off towards the other swans. When they spot her, one wraps a wing around her and brings her into the flock. In today's lesson, we learned that animals grow and change over time. They also create offspring that look like them. Just think about a swan that lays an egg which hatches into a cygnet. This cygnet will grow into a swan one day. Maybe you can visit a local farm or zoo to see animals at different stages in their lives. What about watching a video online? We hope you enjoyed this Schooling Online production. Check out the other stories in our Stage 1 Science for Kids series to improve your child's understanding of the living world.